Hello my crafty friends, hope everyone's having a very nice day. I have a very exciting announcement to make. I also have some um, pro products I need to show and I also have a project share. So I um, hope you'll just get yourself a little cup of coffee. It's going to be a small cup of coffee though. It's not going to be a great call like the other day. Um, I was contacted by 1967 Tina Bina. She is here on YouTube and that's what her YouTube uh, ID is. And... Um, she has uh, just recently opened up a Zibit store, and it's called the This and That Shop, where she carries craft, craft supplies and handmade crafts. Um, so if you are interested in wanting to go check her channel out, uh, it's Zibit.com slash Tina Bina, T-I-N-A-A-B-E-A-N-A. -A -A. Um, I went into her store. She had, had contacted me and wanted to know if I would become a guest designer. So I was just... When I when I read her email, I was like, "Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I'm uh, you know, you're asking me!" So I was really really excited that and honored. I feel honored that someone has ac actually asked me to become a guest designer for their store, and um, I'm going to do the best I can. I'm a little nervous because I, this is the first time I've become a design team member, but I do have some projects here that I'm going to show you. While I was there, when you know, I didn't even know she had opened a store and. I found her store, so I, I went in and looked at things, and she sent me a design team package, but she also, um, I also got looked in her site, and there were some things that I saw that I wouldn't mind having, so I went ahead and made a purchase. So this is a little bit of a mixture of the design team merchandise that she has uh, given me for the, the month to um, make some projects with that I can share with you guys to show what you can do uh, with things in her shop, and I also was working on a few projects but I needed certain things and I didn't have it here so she had the perfect pieces and I was like okay well great I'm going to go ahead and make an order so I did a little bit of both so I've got design team merchandise to show and also uh, products from the uh, the design team package that she sent me I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and combine everything so that way you can get a, a general idea of what all she has in her store. She has a whole lot more than what I'm showing. Um, there's certain things that she has that I have not been able to find anywhere else. So I was really tickled that I found cer certain products that she's carrying. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. But at the end of my video, um, I am going to do a project share, which is this uh, beautiful egg that I altered. It's actually a real ostrich egg, um, no, rooster egg. I have an ostrich egg I did many years years ago, and I decided, I, and I ordered some of these uh, rooster eggs, and I, where they've been sitting so long in, in one room, and I wasn't really paying attention, a couple of them got smashed. So I only had one left, and I decided to go ahead and alter it. So I will be showing you that, and I'll be explaining to you what I did with my egg. But in the meantime, let me just go ahead and get started and show everybody this merchandise. She is, her store, she's got paper flowers. She's got some beautiful fabric flowers, and she has gorgeous sprays. I haven't seen these sprays around at all. I'm pretty sure that they're around, you know, by other dealers. But uh, so far, you know, some of the dealers that I have um, bought from... I haven't really spotted this these particular type of sprays. So you may be interested in going in and, and checking her channel out. Uh, she's got some beautiful stuff. Well, anyway, uh, she sent me this beautiful, beautiful uh, white gathered uh, lace. It's uh, like a ribbon in the top part, and um, it's got the gathering. I thought it was super beautiful. Take a look at this lace. Isn't this gorgeous? Very, very beautiful. It's got a very uh, beautiful pattern to it. Just look at that. That is so, so pretty. And it's got the ribbon that goes through at the top. And it's this one's in a white. And um, the lace ribbon gather look. Now, in her store, she has some package deals. Like there's five yards of lace um, for, I think, five yards of lace for five dollars or something like that. It might be cheaper than that. I'm not really sure can't remember the prices but anyway she uh, offered me this and she does have a package deal in those of those laces um, I did see them I was going to actually order them from her but there was some other lace that I wanted my uh, to get my hands on look at this pink isn't this gorgeous very be very beautiful and I cannot wait to um, do some projects I have three little projects that I'm going to be showing between now and December and I also have 
one big project that I saw that I couldn't wait. I can't wait to do that because that's going to be my main, main one that I think is going to be really nice. So what I'm going to try to do since um, I did buy some merchandise with her and I'm going to be using some of these for gifts and stuff, I'm going to be showing all the product products um, representing her store of anything that I have made that has her merchandise in it. So that way it's getting promoted. But this pink is just to die for. It is gorgeous. Beautiful pastel pink color. And um, so that was really gorgeous. And then she had um, Venice Lace. It's a three-pack. You buy, um, you, can, you get three yards of, of Venetian, I, I can't, I don't even, is it Venetian Lace or Venice Lace? But in, anyway, um, there was three yards that you got in there, and she had a purple. I don't really do too much work with purple, but I do every once in a while, um, I've got a room that I'm getting ready to in the near future, and I've been buying a few things here and there for it. And I'm going to be painting that room in a lavender color, so I will be using some uh, purple and um, lavender quite a bit. But there was this beautiful yard of this purple, and look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Very, very beautiful. Isn't this just... It's to die for. And the thing is, with this type of lace... You can clip these little um, strings off if you want. You can just use this piece. Um, it used the strings for something else. So this Venetian lace has got many potentials. Uh, you can use, you know, the little rose things as appliques. And I'm noticing a lot of women are doing that that now. They're taking these large Venetian lace um, laces and they're cutting them up. And they're embellishing teacups and saucers and turkey platters and all that. So, they get the money's worth, if you know what I'm saying. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Really pretty purple. So, I got a yard of that. And um, I think this is one of the purchases I made. And in, some, in that yard, and oh my gosh, you guys, this is to die for. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous, gorgeous lace. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous that is. That is what I call some really beautiful lace. Very, very beautiful. So I, so far on this one package deal that she had in her store, I was very pleased because the black lace, I mean, like I said, the purple's pretty. And, you know, I'm not, although I'm not crazy over purple, but um, I do like lavender. So, and, you know, with lavender, you do have to add a little purple tint highlights to certain things. In your project, so I cannot wait to do the um, a purple project. But this Venetian lace is gorgeous. So there's the black, and um, then there's this one. This is to die for. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And um, in the next few days, uh, you are going to be seeing a project that I am going to be making with this. So you're going to see a project in a few days that has this item on it. So, um, be on the lookout for that, and, uh, that was, but this came with the Venetian Lace package deal, which I thought was a very good deal. You got, I got my money's worth. Then she had this very, very beautiful, delicate, dainty, almost looked like crocheted, but it's, um, it's not really crocheted, but it, it has that crocheted look. I don't know, maybe it is crocheted. It, like a machine made crochet but anyway it's gorgeous it is gorgeous and I saw it and I saw so much potential for this piece oh this is beautiful you can make some flowers you can um, cut little pieces out and uh, make them look like they're leaves that are sticking out just so much potential with this piece so this is another beautiful piece so she does have some beautiful uh, Venice, Venice lace items in her store um, I loved it I fell in love with this piece so, like I said, when I got into her store and um, looked around and, uh, you know, she asked me to be a design team member, I, I went in there and looked to see, you know, what I'm going to be working with. Because, you know, I hate to tell her yes, and she's working with something that I'm, I mean, she's selling something that I don't even know um, how to do. But she was right, I mean, I love fabric flowers. I very seldom use them because of the expense, because a lot of places they're not that reasonable. But um, she has she has package deals. Like I said, she gives you a, a good variety. And uh, she had these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, pink uh, ribbon roses. And uh, these are, I think, a, a half inch 
or three quarters of an inch. They look. I think these are the three quarters of an inch. They're the, the larger pink roses, but these are the ribbon roses. And look how beautiful they are! Isn't that beautiful? And I think this was part of my design team package, so I can't wait to work with this. And um, she gave me two of them, so I'll definitely you'll be seeing some projects with this item here. And then uh, there's this beautiful black lace. This is one of my purchases also. Uh, look at this lace. Isn't this gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I do have a project in mind for this piece here. And you will be seeing that very shortly also um, within the next month or two. I've, I went ahead and kind of like pre-prepped several projects um, to go with the, the items that I had um, going to be designing for her. That way I'm, I'm ahead a little bit. And um, if there's something I don't like, then means I can put set it aside and start over on something else. But anyway, then there's this uh, half inch. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. And you will be seeing this also in a design team uh, project sometime within the, the next, this coming month. I do have some plans for this piece. So, um, like I said, her laces are gorgeous. And I, I look for baby blue all the time because I have a blue den. And um, I'm trying to find some blue laces. But for some reason, some of the laces that I have bought, it's just not the blue that I'm looking for. And I'm like, gosh, will I ever find it? But anyway, she has some of the blue. And it is gorgeous. Look at that color. Isn't that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful? So I cannot wait to do a project with that. I have some uh, projects in mind. I don't know if I'll be on the design team uh, or not, you know, when I do make that this piece with this lace here. But hopefully I will be, and I'll be able to show you um, the, the finished product. But she does have some very beautiful, and it's very soft. Um, none of this lace feels rough. It all has a, a soft feel to it. And then I bought some uh, black flowers from her. Uh, I can always, always use black flowers because I don't... I'm kind of a flexible artist. I don't always work on pink and, and uh, creams and silvers all the time. And sometimes I, I try to um, make something black. And sometimes I'll try to make something red. Um, I'm, I'm into mint green and pink. I mean, I just do all kinds of projects that uh, kind of fluctuate with the colors. So th I think that's one good thing about me. I even work with brown. And a lot of people don't like brown, but... I like the color brown, so I definitely will be, you'll see some brown projects out of me too as well. But anyway, these roses are super duper gorgeous. They're not real bulky and stick out like you know how some paper flowers have that bulkiness where it stands up and it has that little bottom piece that you have to clip off because it's not flat enough to the cards. These are perfect to put on cards. As you can see, they have a little flatness to them. They're not too flat. They have dimension, but they also are perfect for cards. So there was a six-pack of these. Um, I have ac accidentally pulled one out last night, and that's the sixth one. But um, and they come in six, so you will definitely enjoy, um, be pleased with those flowers. They, they are solid black. There's no little white tint showing. They are um, very well made. Whoever makes, that, makes those, they're very well made. And then, um, these are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's got the prettiest pink flowers. Um, they're kind of poofy flowers. Uh, they're satin. And they have a little stamen, pink stamen on the inside. And this is what they look like. Look at these. Aren't these gorgeous? And uh, she sells these by the six pack. And these are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you definitely will love getting some of these. These are gorgeous. Um, I haven't seen those before around, so I was tickled getting those. And then she also has these, and they have like iridescent um, leaves, or, or not iridescent petals, with some little organic in the center, and then the little uh, ribbon rose on the as the uh, centerpiece. And I'm not really sure how many you get. One, two, three, four, five, six... 
10, 11, there's a 12 here. So I don't know if she sells these by the 12 pack or the 6 pack. I know she did give me some extra for the design team. So I'm not really sure how many pieces are in here. But it will tell on the website. And her prices are very reasonable. And along with her shipping too. She's not asking 50 cents for shipping for every item. And that's the... Uh, I hate to say it, ladies. Those of you that are selling in Zibit. Um, if you notice that you're not getting the business... Look at your shipping because I'm one when I want to make a big order, I'm going to make a big order from you. But if I've got to pay $17 worth of shipping for a box that's going to be sent for $6.85, I'm going to end up walking away. I mean, that's just how I am. So when you, uh, when I go into a seller store and I look and I see that there's 50 cents per item after the $3.99 shipping, it, it, it runs me away. It really does because I know, you know, you're not going to mail this for that price. So um, this is something that I noticed with her. Her shipping was within, you know, within the limits uh, and um, wasn't ever asking, if you know what I'm saying. But anyway, look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that flower. Oh, my gosh. It is so, so beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And I cannot wait to do a project um, I know exactly what I'm going to do with these. It's going to probably be a couple weeks before you see these. But I have a perfect project and I cannot wait to show you. I'm going to work on it as diligently as fast as I can because I'm dying to show everyone. And she also has uh, appliques in her store. And I thought this was to die for. And yes, I do have a project in mind for this. So you will be seeing a design team project using this uh, applique. Isn't this beautiful? Very, very beautiful. Very delicate. Um, it's just gorgeous. So now she's got me in the mood for wanting to buy more appliques. That's going to be something else that I want to try to stock up on in the future. Um, fabric flowers in the future. And um, Sizzix dyes in my future. And uh, let's see, what else? Appliques. And crocheted items. So that, those are basically the, my main things I want to uh, develop a hoard valve now for. Then she's got this beautiful spray here, and it, this is to die for. And I don't know how many pieces. I think it's a three-piece three, three piece that you get, or I'm, I think it is. But she gave me three pieces of this. And um, the thing is, all right, let me see if I can take, just unwind one. This is what it looks like. Look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at those. But. Now, see, she, she uh, gave, I have, I think it's a three-pack, but this is, look, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? But you have, um, you don't necessarily have to use the whole entire three if you don't want to. If you just want to embellish a small little item and just use two of these, you can. And you can cut them in half and use, like, make smaller little sprays. So you can really spread your money big time off this one item. I love it. It's got little, a uh, small dainty pearl on the inside. Uh, the flowers are satin, and they are just really, really gorgeous. So, um, you definitely will be pleased with these. Look at those. And there's a future project getting ready to come up soon, very soon. So, I'm, you know, really pleased I got those. And then, she also gave me, um, for the design team package... Some white ribbon roses and the uh, ribbon roses. These are the small ones. These are not the qu three quarter inch ones. I think these are the quarter inch ones. These are so 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 cute, and they really do look beautiful on any project. And you know, especially if you're doing like tea dyed looking um, crocheted work, and you have these white ribbon roses. I am going to give you guys a little tip about the white roses. Um, just like the, the Lindy Stamp Gang and uh, the Tim Holtz uh, dies and stuff. You can actually take... You know, I'm gonna, let me show you these ribbon roses real quick. She gave me two uh, stems there. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? And I think it's going to come... Um, not really sure. It's, she's either got them as two or one. But that's one right there. And it's, it's beautiful. But you don't have to necessarily have these white if you don't want them white. Um... You can dip these in a cup of coffee and get like a coffee stained look flower. Or you can stick them in a cup of tea and you can get tea dyed looking uh, ribbon roses. So if you want some flowers with a tea dyed look, these are perfect. 
and uh, she does have these in her store in stock right now. So, you know, if you're interested, please go on over there and check her out. And then she sent me these, and these are also, I'd say that you could, if you wanted to, tea dye these, or you can dip them in coffee and coffee dye them, or you can leave them in the color that they already are in. I'm going to be using these in the color I'm already in. If I decide to do a coffee stained um, item, I may take two or three out just for that one uh, project, but I don't plan on... Um, tea dyeing the whole the whole set but these are these and these are gorgeous oh my gosh look at these um this is what they actually let me just pull this apart this is what it actually looks like and that's the flower very very beautiful gorgeous piece elegant and can be put on anything um so this is another item that's in her store and then, uh, let's see, she has these beautiful purple satin flowers that have stamen on the inside. They're also included with leaves. You get a three-pack, and this is what they look like. They are gorgeous. If I can put it close, um, if you can see, the flowers are silk, and these are just, just to die for. I, I purchased these because I have a project in the future coming up that I'm going to be do, doing something with these. So that is um, this, this flowers there. And then she has um, these, which are in the baby blue. I've been looking for blue and blue and blue, and I've bought I don't know how many blues. It's a certain color blue that I've been trying to find, and Tina had them. And these are kind of like a baby blue flower. So these are really gorgeous, and they are very well made. Um, you know, sometimes you order from certain companies, you get these paper flowers, and you can tell they're cheapos. These are, I could say, comparable to um, Trico paper, paper flowers. And Trico really makes some beautiful paper flowers. They really do. They have good quality of them. And this is what they look like. And these are so, so beautiful. So there's this one here. And then we have, um, she sent me a spray as a gift. And I see, I see a project coming in the future, Tina. I really do. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my gosh, that is so, so gorgeous. And I had an idea, so you're going to see something very soon with this piece. And uh, so I, I do have a project for that. And then she has this real pretty black and um, hand-beaded uh, embellishment. I thought I got three, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to relook at my order because I did want to get three because I'm making a set of something. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it was very reasonable. I wouldn't have gotten three if I didn't uh, think the price was right. Um, I have some beads here. And I have looked all over the place for these glass beads in a certain size. Um, I do, you know, a lot of us get the 6 millimeter uh, pearls and the 8 millimeter and the 12 millimeter. But I do a lot of delicate... Um, type of work sometimes that need those dainty little glass pearl beads and um, you can wire these to stick wire through them and make yourself a little embellishment and she's it came with about 400 in each bead and then they're on a, a string and these are the gunmetal like a gunmetal silver type I thought they were gorgeous and uh, I bought it's a 60 inch so look you get well, I'm just going to go. You get a whole lot for your money. So this piece right here is going to make me tons and tons of projects. Because um, I do a lot of, lot of little trinket things. So she has those particular glass beads in her store. And the price was right. And then she had this set. And these are about 400. And they're ivory glass. And they're 4, four, I mean four millimeter. About 400 in the bag. And they are, you know, strung up on a string. And, uh... Oops, I got a knot. Okay, I had picked it up wrong. But anyway, um, she's got these in her store also, and I was tickled because um, 
I had ordered a piece of jewelry. It was a necklace I had, some necklaces that I bought from a jewelry site, just so I could get those size beads because they're hard to find now. And these are, oh gosh, these are really gorgeous. And these are, you know, these are not like the fused beads. These are beads that you wire yourself and uh, put on um, your projects. And they're glass beads. And they're very, very quality of them. The color, oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? So I bought a pack of those. I also bought some pale pink ones, and the pale pink ones are to die for. Um, I have them in the other room, though, because uh, I was going to do a project today, and uh, I didn't bring them out here. I should have. That was part. That was part of my purchase. It wasn't the design team part, but she's got. They're pretty pastel pale pink. Then they have. She has three millimeter pearls, and they. She carries. It's a thousand a thousand on a string. And this is in the um, tan color. So I thought these were pretty. Look at those. Isn't they gorgeous? And that's what that looks like. So um, that's the tan. And they come in a Ziploc bag. Uh, nice and tidy. So you, they're not tangled when you pull them out of the bag. And then we have this. And this is to die for. Oh my gosh. She carries these sprays. And these are gorgeous. And you, you don't have to use the whole spray. Um, these type of sprays here I've learned where I can cut off a piece and cut off another piece and then cut off another piece and I can get several sprays out of that one spray. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful. And this is the close-up of them. Very, very beautiful. So this is um, my design tea package and what I purchased from uh, Tina Bina in uh, the, the, this and that store on Zibit, and uh, hope you enjoyed my presentation. I was a little ner nervous doing it. And Tina, I'll be on the lookout in about three days. You're going to see a project come along. And then next week, or either the week, a day after, or two after, after Thanksgiving, I will also be doing another project. I'm going to do as many as I can. Uh, so if you see more than two being done this month, it's because I'm just going to, you know, I'm using a whole bunch of this stuff. So I do want to Whatever I use from this area here, I definitely will be advertising the store. So that's what, what I plan on doing. But anyway, take a look at these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that is the projects I will be working on or the items that I will be using this month from uh, Tina Bina store. And uh, go pay her a visit and sub her. Uh, you never know. We might even do a giveaway later on if we, you know, get good responses. So we'll see what happens, you know, with her store, and uh, we'll go from there. But um, I, I did a project where I was working on one. I had some rooster eggs that I ordered online, and I had an ostrich egg project that I did many, many years ago. And um, I decided to take out that rooster egg because it had been sitting there staring at me in the, in the closet in a little my little little craft pile that I still haven't organized yet, but anyway, I took it out and um, I decided it was time to do something with it because uh, I I had a couple that were in there and somehow or another they got crushed and broken, and these rooster eggs are not cheap, but you can get them at eBay and you can also get them um, online. And what I did is I took it, but these are rooster eggs. I, I went ahead and got the rooster egg. Rooster eggs are cheaper. They're not as big as the ostrich, ostrich egg, but they're, they're still a good size, and you can do something with them. So I took this egg. Um, I ordered it online, and the hole is already drilled out on the bottom. So when we get these, these are already, already drained. So the only thing you need to do is to cut your hole in the front, and uh, put your, you know, glue your little embellishment stuff on to the top and the bottom and on the outside, whatever design you want to do. And I had found this little uh, Christmas decoration for a mini tree many years ago, and I pulled it out because it was an angel, and I painted him in, in a pretty blue gown. He's playing a harp, so he's in a, a gold, and I took some of that, um, it's the uh, Rub and Buff, or it's just, it's a marker type deal though, and I d did uh, up his harp a little bit and just kind of rubbed it down and took a little dye of tea, uh, uh, Tim Holtz and kind of made it look like it was uh, old. And on the inside, also after I got the hole cut out, um, I put some 
it's a gold metallic braid that you can buy at Walmart. And I put uh, glitter on the inside. I glued it with glitter. So it's real sparkly and glitter glittery on the uh, inside. Has a metallic braid also glued on the inside. And then when I got to the outer hole, um, I took some Tim Holtz, not Tim Holtz, Recollections Bling. And I uh, gl gl blinged all the way around a certain pattern. And then I also took some of that gold uh, braid from Walmart and uh, went on the inside with the pattern. I used a piece of filigree on the egg at the bottom part, filigree on the egg at the top part, drilled a little hole at the top part, uh, put a, a, a beaded pearl type of, but it's in the same color, and then an IPN, another little piece of filigree, and on the inside I put some filigree to hold this in so it's not going to go anywhere, so it can be hung on a Christmas tree or it can be sitting somewhere. But this is the egg that I made. And this is the side where I got the the braid, the gold braid, and the recollections bling. Very simple and easy to do. The hardest part of all, and you know, to glue stuff on, as you can see the pearl bead and the filigree. Then there's the filigree under here. It's got a little filigree platform on the inside there. And then on the inside, if you could see there. Very beautiful. And then the braid on the inside. And this is what it turned out to be. So if you um, ladies are interested in altering eggs, this is something that you can do with an egg and uh, put it on a Christmas tree. Well, I, wish, I hope you all have a very nice day. I will talk to you guys later, and uh, you will be seeing a design team project within the next two or three days. Love you all, and bye-bye.